Honorable Minister, in 2012, in my first term in office, the medical director of FMC Buso came to my office and said that he was there, he was there to greet me after depending his budget. And uh, after the greeting, he drew my attention. He said, sir, do you notice that from Zaria to Gusau is about 200 kilometers? And from Gusau to Sokoto is another 200 kilometers. I said, what has that got to do with me here as a senator? He said, I'm driving a point, sir. He said, from Zaria to Sokoto is a distance of 400 kilometers. And sir, in between, the only place you get is Busau, the capital of Zamfara State. And as I speak to you today, Zamfara State uh, Federal Medical Center Busau is lacking of so many vital equipment. And God forbid, if anybody is traveling that road, and for whatever reason had an accident in between, he had to be either ferried back to Zaria or taken to Sokoto, which is a distance of 200 kilometers either way. So I now asked him that, what can I do to assist? And he told me some of the equipment that we need to put in Federal Medical Center. And I asked him to do the costing. He did it and came with a figure of 300 million naira at that time. Uh, having come from Zamfara, which is in Northwest, the zone that uh, whose senators and members receive less in constituency project. My threshold is about 197 million naira. So I went cap in hand begging. I went to the then Senate President, uh, Senator David A. B. Mack, and I told him the same thing the medical uh, director told me. And he graciously approved that uh, I be given the remaining part of this to make my threshold to reach that 300 million naira which I now domiciled in ministry, uh, Federal Medical Center also, to purchase those critical equipment so that in the event of any accident, which we don't know who it is going to be, now people can be attended to in Gusau without necessarily taking them back to the area or taking, uh, or, or, or taking to Sokoto. Honorable Minister, through 2012, 2013, 2014, up to 2015, uh, that project didn't see light of the day, even after the monies were paid 100%. That year, I could remember, only myself and uh, Senator Chuku Mereje of blessed memory uh, domiciled their constituency projects in Ministry of Health. His own 25 million naira, while I put the whole 300 million naira. And the monies were paid to Ministry of Health completely 100% during uh, Jonathan's uh, administration. But what happened? The then Minister of Health, Dr. Onyebu Chichuku, took the money belonging to Federal Medical Centers, uh, Busau, the monies belonging to the people of Zamfara Central that I domiciled in that place, and took it in active connivance with his permanent secretary with the benefit of what we have now. We have seen where they sat uh, 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 in the ministry to award contract. The, Fed, uh, the permanent secretary then was from Katina State. And uh, the minister, they took this money to Inugu and bought mosquito net. Mosquito net, mosquito net, yes. They bought my 300 million till today. When this administration came on board, I wrote a petition to Mr. President and it was ministered to you. In 2015, sir, you promised me that you are going to address this issue 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, up to now 2019, I'm retiring and uh, the monies belonging to the people of the Farah State are missing, nowhere to be found and we have not benefited. And uh, now we can hear the failures from the Farah State. Now again, On the second issue you talked about, uh, that is the same issue of uh, benefiting from the laudable objective that you have done. Now the NHIS, in 20, this is 20, in 2017 again, I put the whole of my constituency project of about 200 million naira into NHIS because I learned of the advantage the people drive when they are registered with NHIS which is the second 
uh, requirement you have told us, apart from uh, constituting the Board of uh, Health Care Development Agency. 2017, I put my 200 million naira Clark. Yes, uh, in NHS, uh, Honorable Minister, till today, the story has been uh, we have to get a letter from the SGF office, we have to do this, we have to do that. To me, it is like there is a general kind of gang of sabotage against the pe good people of the Amphara State uh, by Ministry of Health, you know, to deny us, you know, of this money that senators and the members of House of Representatives are always being blackmailed you know, and uh, called names, you know, in the name of pocketing uh, uh, constituency project uh, allowances. This is where I channeled my own, and uh, this is, if we had gotten this money, this is what it would have done, you know, to my people, but uh, nothing has been done. Uh, Honorable Minister, is there anything, maybe, as a cap, you can do, especially about these two issues? My 300 million, my 200 million belonging to the good people of the Amphara State, so that the people of the Amphara State can benefit from these things. God forbid, when I was in your office, I told you what the CMD told me that day touched me because it could be you, even though you are not from uh, uh, Northwest, but uh, maybe you could be on duty tour and uh, just passing uh, through my senatorial district, God forbid, and something happens and they said you have to be ferried back to Zaria or uh, to Sokoto. I, I'm not too sure if Senator Gouver has uh, prepared his own hospital like I tried to do on my own. Uh, I thank you so much and uh, I hope you will be able to say something about uh, this too. With one of the most agile senators in this republic, my own brother and good friend, Senator Kabiru Garba Balogun Marafa of Sanfara. Because if the money appropriated for his state and his constituency was taken to another state altogether, because this kind of rascality would destroy this country. If you can take money from one critical place to another place that is maybe equally critical, but whether we like it or not, with ethnocentric undertone, a minister from the southeast taking money from the northwest, critical money. Abba, you have done many things in this place and I admire you. But you should have brought this to our attention much earlier so that many of us could join you and protest this and seek remedy. I'm saying this because sometimes when money is given to ministries, not all the money is given and they are to prioritize. So it might not be your money. But if it's your money, ah, I join you in protest. Uh, to the question from distinguished Senator Marafa, I, I want to apologize to you about what has happened to the money. Uh, I did confess that I used to run away from you when I see you coming over this matter. Because it has to do with what happened in the past. And as a minister, the last thing I want to do is to start investigating the past. Uh, and I talked to the MD to say, look, make provision in your budget, let's buy this equipment, because we cannot reopen what has happened in the past. I, do, I will not condone it, but it has happened, it has happened. And I want to plead with you, as I've done privately, let us bury this case and pro make provision so that they can still acquire this equipment. Uh, again, I want to appeal to you to, we will get it there, please. And I hope you will accept this final apology uh, and, and let's move on, sir.